Welcome to the 30 day challenge for query folding. My name is Alex Powers and I will be your host. A little bit about myself. I am a power platform technical specialist located in St. Louis, Missouri. Also a MCSC in data management analytics, MCSA and BI reporting. And certainly one of my favorites here, the co-organizer of the St. Louis Power BI user group. Enough with the pleasantries though, because query folding is the most powerful capability of Power Query and the M language. It takes the transformations expressed in your M query and translates it into the native sources query language for more efficient data processing. In my own words, this is a learn once, apply anywhere that supports its skill set. Whether that be different relational databases such as Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, Teradata, OData Feeds, Exchange, Active Directory, you name it, the sooner you can master this skill, the more you can look to reduce your data sets refresh times. A word of caution though, you can break the folding. If that is the case, your transformations will be sent to the mashup engine to compensate and may potentially bring you to a crawl, which is why I want to share with you my recommended practices. As noted, every scenario is different, but this is where I often find the most success. Start with your data at its widest point with the filters and joins taking place. Move on to your data transformations, such as adding new columns, and finally moving into the column selection to start narrowing your data down to what is absolutely needed. While it is not necessary to know SQL for this challenge, it might not be a bad idea to do some introductory coursework in parallel to understand some basic concepts, such as select from where. Because for this challenge, we want to have a consistent feel across the environments, which is why some of the prerequisites, we're going to use the AdventureWorks DW 2017 edition, as well as the Wide World Importers DW. In another video, I'll show you how you can go and get those installed on your local machine. Obviously, if you're using cloud resources, you can go in to get those imported there as well. Because each day I'll be giving you a new challenge. The name of the database being used, the entity or entities, and then the following instructions. Of course, there are many ways to perform a task using Power Query or the M language, and there is no one single right answer, but there is a wrong answer. So that would be anywhere where the view native query is disabled, go ahead and start over. And for those who have successfully completed the challenge, use the hashtag 30D query on your favorite social media platforms, whether it be posting your M query, a video of yourself hard at work, or a final snapshot with the native query window. Because for the next 30 days, it's happy folding.